Hi guys, PJ here. Today we're doing a quick technical article on GPUs. Now, if you've got a, an AMD GPU or in fact an NVIDIA one with similar design to this, this may be of interest to you. Over a period of time, uh, the GPU thermal paste basically uh, deteriorates and stops being as you know conductive as it can be. Now, in essence, your GPU normally runs a bit hotter when you notice your paste wearing out. A lot of the cheaper paste, they only sort of last six months or so before they dry out and pack up. So if you're going to reply your paste, if you're going to reapply it and go to the trouble of doing it, don't skimp. Buy yourself some Arctic Silver 5. It's pretty much the best one on the market. It is a bit dearer. I mean, you can get thermal paste from sort of 99p. This stuff's about £6, but you're only going to use a tiny blob of it. So, uh, you know, you will have some for future use. Now... There are differences with uh, problems with GPUs as they get older. If you've got artifacting on your screen, so you've got like little spots appearing here and there, then unfortunately that's probably your GPU on the way out. Okay, But if, like myself, you're running the fan higher and higher and higher, trying to keep the temperatures down, then it's your thermal paste. Now this particular GPU has been in service in my own rig for about two years now. Um, it's 290X. It is overclocked, so you know it's not had an easy life and I've noticed now that the fan is running higher on it. So we're going to strip it down and reapply thermal paste to it. Before you start even thinking about doing this, get yourself a couple of bits that you're going to need. Some alcohol wipes to clean the old thermal paste off. Maybe some cotton buds to be able to get in all the nooks and crannies, um, you know, just to get all the gunk out. And also some form of tissue to soak up anything that the alcohol wipes leave behind to dry it up. Yeah. You're going to need some cross-head Phillips screwdrivers, uh, some tiny ones to get all the little screws out. And also good lighting. I can't stress that enough because you don't want to be trying to work in the dark. You do need to be able to see exactly what you're doing. Okay, It's not a, a difficult job or a time-consuming job. It's just once you do it, you don't want to do it again for another year, let's face it. Normally yearly. Like I say, this has been two years, this particular GPU. And... Um, I left it because I was going to uh, update to an RX 580, but looking at the performance of the two, there's nothing in it. Maybe two or three frames per second if you're lucky on an RX 580 over a 290X, or to be fair, even a 290 to some degree. So if you've got a 380 or a 390, same scenario, it's not worth you upgrading unless you're worried about power consumption, because the RX 580s, they do use half the power of one of these things. These, these do use a lot of power. But... They're a good card to still do the job, so let's see about cleaning this and reapplying some thermal paste. So the first thing you're going to notice is a load of Phillips screws to undo. Now there's quite a few. I've got the camera as near as I can rather than zooming out, so hopefully you'll be able to see exactly uh, what I'm doing. I will skip little bits when I point out where all the screws are just to speed the video up. First off, you've got three here. So there's one there, look, one in the middle, and one at the end. Okay, you want to unscrew all three of those. Like I say, very, very tiny screwdriver. Careful not to strip the heads off them because they are only going into plastic and they are absolutely minute. Magnetic screwdrivers are a godsend. There we go. Uh, you can even see how tiny that is. Obviously, put them somewhere safe. You'll notice I'm using an old mouse mat so that the GPU doesn't uh, you know, lean on the desk and damage itself in any way. They're very soft a mouse mat. It's a good thing to use, an old mouse mat. So we take all three of these out, go along there, just be careful you don't lose any. Once these fall onto the carpet they're, uh, they're gone forever. I know from experience, previous GPUs, yeah they've lost some screws. So let's put these out of the way there. And then when you turn it over, okay, you're going to have to undo some more screws. So you've got the four here that hold the actual uh, clamp in place. And you've also got all the ones I'm pointing out now, all the way around the edge. Go, and re go ahead and remove the uh, ones around the edge first, preferably. There you go, a slightly bigger head screwdriver for that one. There we go. And do each one of these. Doesn't matter what order, just keep them safe to one side. Your, your GPU's got its weight resting on the uh, mouse mat, so it's not going to fall apart unevenly or anything ridiculous like that. Yep, 
if you have used thermal paste that's of the cheaper variety or you've, you've sort of bought a second hand GPU you won't want to leave it more than six months really if you're using your PC every day for gaming you know they generate a lot of heat we get a lot of hammer and if you want your GPU to live a long time you need to be reapplying this thermal paste because heat is what can damage simple as that like I say you should get a year uh, out of Arctic Silver even running something as hot as this 290X it will last a year You'll probably get a bit more out of it if you want to stretch it like I say I have gone two years on the pace that's in this one but it's overdue now for the last few months it's been running a very high fan curve 100% at times which is very loud and obviously hinders your ability to hear what the actual games are putting out at times okay now when you've disassembled all your screws you've got them all out yeah including these tiny ones you're gonna have some just some like pads that hold it together and uh, they'll sort of stick it together so you can have to carefully wiggle it loose these are tight there we go come on let's try this one that's better you notice I'm uh, undoing these a little bit at a time yeah and don't go all the way around in a circle try and do opposites yeah that way you get the uh, load undone easier on the uh, on the actual GPU where are we did it yeah that one easy to forget where you're at one that's popped two that's popped three and last one four now leave the screws in and carefully lift up your screws will come with the frame yeah put the frame safely to one side with the screws in try and remember the orientation of it which way round it goes okay because a lot of them aren't symmetrical you have shorter uh, arms and longer arms okay when you've done that it believe it or not is coming up to the time when you're going to be removing um, even more screws there you go I was getting excited there thinking I'd done I haven't <laughs> okay we've got three more on the other side just like the first three let's take those out now one two in fact this centre one's of a bronzy colour there it's uh, probably one I've lost to the carpet uh, when this GPU first arrived okay this GPU being an old AMD uh, test bench GPU and so when I got it I immediately reapplied thermal paste to it okay so if we can wiggle this loose now it's quite quite well stuck there we go well there we go so back corner up first and then pull and remove yeah like so put that safely to one side and we'll be cleaning that okay heat sink um, not too bad actually it's uh, it's got some, some gunk in the fins there that you can see it will give it a, a blowout compressed air can is a handy thing to have that can blow things out quite well fan very tricky thing to clean to be honest with you I mean it is a bit scuzzy it's not too bad for saying how much use it's had right now we're gonna quickly lift it make sure everything's out yes we are looking good there everything removed yeah oh, it's a tight one okay so we've, we've started to get a bit of movement at the back end here look you'll say it's moving now you've got your little fan power cable tucked under here and it really does get tucked under you've got to be careful with it it's quite delicate just there look you can see that you've got to pull one out mine's been squished under from the last time i did it so uh be careful with that come okay, on it just unplugs basically it's just there we go can we see that there look so there's your power cable it's on a little pull connector out it comes 
to actually fan loose. Oops, put them back on the mat there. And just uh, carry on trying to part it. Look, you see the gap there starting? Yeah. All the way along. It's the thermal paste that's got it. That's what's basically holding it. Oh, and there we go. We're free. Okay. So that's, like I say, two years use there. And uh, that's quite a lot. So if we lay that down separately. You can replace the pads uh, if you want. You know, um, like I say, I did these two years ago. I'm not going to do it this particular time. Uh, but they just peel off. They're just like double-sided sort of sticky things. And you just plonk them back on again. Clean the surface up, obviously, before you put the new ones on. Now, you'll notice my thermal paste there is looking very thin in certain areas. And um, it's actually... Yeah, it's pretty much dry. There's nothing there come off of my finger. So that's heated up and gone hard. That is no use at all. Okay, so what we're going to do now is clean both surfaces very, very well. Okay, so we're going to get one of our alcohol wipes and give it a give it a quick go over. Now you can get alcohol wipes from a PC shop or Amazon, eBay, etc. You know, it's just literally a wipe soaked in alcohol. Okay, so if we just give that a bit of a, a bit of a rub there, it needs to be shiny. Basically, the surface should be like an absolute mirror. No debris on it at all. See that coming off there? That old thermal paste. That's how dry it is. You know, normally this stuff, like I say, it has a bit of uh, flex to it, even when it's old. Well, no, this card, being overclocked. <laughs> or normally actually has completely cooked it it's uh, it's dry very dry so take your time cleaning it up what I'll do I'll uh, pause the video clean all that up so I'll get the excess from round it done and don't forget, you're also going to need to clean this surface, the copper surface. This is your heat sink surface, yeah? This again has got to be spotless. It's actually dried on, look. It <laughs> is not in the slightest bit um, pliable. So if yours is like mine, get cleaning, guys. It's no good. Now, there's different sorts of... Um, thermal paste some of them conduct electricity so if you get uh, one that conducts electricity you must make sure when you reapply it it only goes on the GPU itself obviously if it spills over onto the stuff it can arc electricity across and kill your card you don't want to do that um, the ceramic paste don't conduct electricity but they uh, also have lower thermal properties so um, <laughs> you uh, you know you're not doing the job as well as it were as you can see, it takes a lot of cleaning off. I'm going to clean that off now. Like I say, I'll uh, pause the cam and bring you back when I've done it. Okay, so to finish up getting the gunk from around the edges here, we've got a cotton bud, yeah, and just basically press it, press it into your uh, alcohol wipe there. We'll spray a bit on it, which I'll be using to clean with, and go around the edges. You notice the uh, the gunk there starting to come off. Keep using a new one, you know, they're, they're only worth pennies, so don't uh, use your old one, you just reapply the gunk all the time. So once it's got some on it, swap it over if you can. And it's only a cotton bud, you know. And there we go. Get as much of the old stuff off as possible, really. Like I say, it is harder when like this one, it's already dried on easier if your uh, if your thermal paste is still a bit wet mine is not okay. I'm gonna use a few of these guys I'm gonna use three or four okay so we've gone through four or five cotton buds there and a couple of the uh, alcohol wipes just dry the top off very carefully just using a tissue yeah nothing nothing fancy there we go 
both surfaces completely shiny, the contacting surfaces, the centre of each point. Okay. Now, before you go any further, uh, you might want to start cleaning some of your dust out of your fan before you reassemble it. Obviously, don't, don't hold it above the top of the bit you've just cleaned and get your dust out. You'll cover it all in crap. Now, you know, that's sort of common sense, but hey, I've seen people do it, even professionals do it. So, uh, okay, clean your, uh, clean your fan up as best as you can now. Okay, so now we come to applying our thermal paste. A lot of people make the mistake of putting an absolute ton of this stuff on. It's not needed. You know, you only need a blob. When it's, when it's under pressure and it, it sort of squishes down on itself, obviously it all oozes out sideways. So if we just take the nib off there. A couple of different ways of doing this. There's the P method, where you put a blob dead center, the uh, size of a P, yeah, garden P, and uh, let it squish out. Or you can just do the, uh, the, the diagonal lines across. Either which works, okay. Now we are applying the paste directly to the GPU head here, not the heat sink, okay. So the last time I did this, I did the cross method. Uh, seemed to work quite well. So we'll do that again. Like I say, you don't want tons of the stuff. You just want a little bit. Take your time with the plunger. There might be an airlock in it, so you don't want it all gushing out and going everywhere. Nice and steady. There we go. My slightly unsteady hands there, age showing. A bit like I've got the shapes in it and withdrawals. Right. There we go. That will spread evenly once we uh, reassemble there we go that's enough no more than that that is the max you would put on okay like i say p method blob in the center let it squish out this is an older gpu so i'm trying to get more of an even coverage with it okay now for this part it's advisable to leave your your heat sink in place like so and actually line up your gpu circuit board because when you flip it over like so, you'd be lining up your holes, yeah, all the little holes. And that's the easiest way to do it because you don't want to be squishing around your, your new thermal paste everywhere. Now, the, the actual uh, crosshead part, these, will sink through the board. So, in other words, you can sort of put one corner on, line the holes up carefully and Carefully lower it into place. There we go. Okay, we're good. And you've done that, you can start reassembling uh, your board. So get yourself some of your original screws here and pop them in. Doesn't have a particular sequence to be honest. Try to work near where we've put the thermal paste to start with. There we go. Come on, get in. Careful you don't cross thread them. They are screwing into aluminium. You've got to bear that in mind, yeah? And they're not in tight. Okay, just two, just to hold it, locate it so it doesn't move around. Bring your frame back that you've got. Now you notice your frame's got little rubber pads on the edges. Make sure they do not fall off. You need them. Place that into place carefully. And hold because your little screws tend to bounce out because you to remember it's like spring loaded so if, if you're not careful it'll act like a spring and you know one will end up hitting the ceiling and landing your cup of tea and that's not a good thing to do there we go there's two three four okay let's go back to the first one just tighten that down Diagonals, going across your diagonals, guys. Again, I've only nipped them, they're not tight yet. Diagonals, back to the original one. Now you can do your tightening up nip. So sort of three stages, yeah? And you want it, as you can see, I'm only using two fingers, yeah? So it's just finger tight, not like over cranked, you know, you're not tightening up an engine on a, a bolt end an engine or anything. You just Nipping up this uh, 
this little spreader. There we go. That feels tight to me. That one's gone a bit soft because of the others tightening. There we go. Tight, tight. One more check for good measure. Metal expands when it gets hot, so you know you do want them nipped. Right, that's nipped. Okay, by now you see these two screws that you put in are now well and truly uh, proud because obviously it's, it's pulled the board flush. We'll go ahead and put all our screws back in. So all your mounting screws, there we go, put back in. Quite a good nip up on those. They are going into the chassis, so there's not a, a big problem there. You can nip them up quite well. Don't forget your centre one here. And we've double checked these are, are nicely firmly tight. So we can now flip it back over again because it's now one unit again, yeah. And put in our fan, yeah. So plug that back in, don't forget. My fan's actually gone a little bit discoloured because, like I say, this is not the youngest GPU in the world. It's getting on. So uh, it's still a bit dusty, still a bit dirty, but. Uh, it's about as clean as I'm going to get it without trying to soak it in alcohol. But, like I say, GPU is not being the cheapest thing in the world. It is nice to keep them going. Okay, now, if like mine, some haven't got this. I have seen them without this. You've got two extra screws on the end here. Like I say, some haven't got this. It's blanked off. You need to put them back in. Uh, Friends 290 didn't have those, so uh, this one does. I'm just going to pop those two back in. Okay, here we go. Oop, my magnetic screwdriver is refusing to be magnetic. Not ideal. Come here. This is going to be fiddly, guys, because my screwdriver's magnetism's died. One, like I say, you very well might not have these two screws. So it depends on the revision of the card, I think. They don't have to be tight, they're just, just for the end plate steady. There we go, that's that bit done. Your fan's plugged in. So you're now going to get your shroud, yeah? And uh, obviously you've cleaned it by now, which I haven't, so I'll quickly do that. Okay, so board cleaned out. Like I say, fan's still looking a bit scuzzy, but never mind. We can now hook this back on. It goes under the metal edge here. It sits underneath that. And then lowers gently into place. Go around, put all your screws in from, from the edges. So uh, we got what? One here, one here, one here. There's six, there's three each side, yeah? Put all those back in. Okay, so last screw going in, like so. That's all six, three each side, yeah? And that is your GPU back in one piece, okay? That should now last you, if you use it daily, about a year, yeah? I'd redo it after a year, uh, at which point, I mean, in something this age, maybe you're gonna upgrade anyway, but it keeps them in good, good health. And that really concludes this video. If you've got any questions on this or any other computer related, uh, you know, items, then just drop it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.